Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is an updated beauty empties video, which I'm so excited to be filming. I always love sitting down and filming these videos because essentially I'm accumulating for this video over like six months. So I always really enjoy sitting down and chatting through the products that I finished up. As usual, I have my empties basket at the ready, filled to the brim. Like I said, this is essentially six months worth of products in here. So products that I've used up over the past six months. My last empties video was back in January. So July is typically when I do like my mid-year update, I suppose. So we've got all of this to get through today. So let's get started. Starting off pretty rogue with some empty sanitizer bottles. I've really stuck to sanitizers and having them with me at all times. So I always carry one in my bag, which is why they're all this like slightly smaller size because they're very much handbag friendly. So this is a Real Babe hand sanitizer from Misguided. I really don't know if they still do this, like maybe it was a pandemic thing, but I really did enjoy this one. Then from L'Occitane, this is their Vervain Clean Hands Gel. Didn't like this as much. I don't know what it was. This one just felt like a little bit too runny and I really dislike that. And finally, my favorite, this is from a brand called Merci Handy and this is a hand cleansing gel as well. This one has like little particles in there which I really enjoyed using. And I also really like this bottle because it's like perfect handbag size. Let's do skincare next. Usually I leave skincare towards the end of these videos, but do you know what? This time I'm feeling we start off with skin care. So first up, a micellar water. This is the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. This is my favourite eye makeup remover. I use waterproof mascara on most days. So a biphase and micellar water is an integral part of my skincare routine and I love this one from Nivea. It's a fantastic price point and it does such a great job at removing all traces of waterproof mascara. And from L'Oreal, this is the Revitalift Replumping Micellar Water. Honestly, I always have a micellar water on the go, whether it be to remove like swatches or a lipstick or just for things like that. It's not necessarily an integral part of my skincare routine. I don't use a micellar water daily, for example, but still I do always have one on the go. I mean, there's not much to say about the micellar water. It was just a micellar water. I finished up the Revolution X Sally Hughes Butter Clean Makeup Meltdown Cleansing Balm. I actually kept this at my boyfriend's house because I feel like it's quite a good like travel size to have. So it did take me a while to finish up. I only really spend the weekends at my boyfriend's house, but it was a really good one to keep there basically and I surprised myself by how much I actually enjoyed this. I haven't tried much skincare from Revolution but I was very pleasantly surprised with this. Also from that collection I used up the Clean Sheet Morning Cleanser. This was a very nice cleanser as well however it wasn't as creamy as I usually like my morning cleansers. I like my morning cleansers to either be quite milky or quite creamy and this to me felt a bit more like a gel texture or a balm texture I should say and I much prefer a balm texture when I'm actually removing makeup as opposed to like in the morning. So on some days I would use this as my evening cleanser as opposed to my morning cleanser and I loved it. Then from Temple Spa this is the Be Gone Kind Hearted Cleansing Cream. I hate the packaging of this. I found it so annoying. When I opened this up I expected it to be a balm cleanser but it's a cream and for a cream product I just didn't like it in this type of packaging. Obviously this isn't a reflection on the product. The product itself I actually did like using. However anytime I came to use it I was just annoyed by the fact it wasn't a balm cleanser. I found the packaging really off-putting of this one. From E45 this is the Face Foaming Cleanser. I have to admit I'm not usually big on foam cleansers however about a year ago maybe I did some work on the launch of this E45 cleanser and since then I've actually really enjoyed using it so I completely use this up. I use this mostly in the mornings as I found that the morning was my favourite time to use the foam cleanser because essentially it comes out as a foam but then you sort of mix it with water and it turns into more of like a, a lather which in the morning I think is really nice and really refreshing on the skin. From Bliss this is the Makeup Melt Dry Wet Gentle Jelly Cleanser. 
I really enjoyed this. It's not the first time I use this product. It's definitely featured in my empties before because I have 100% used this up before. It's a nice product. It's definitely got that gel texture there, which is very nice one for the summer, actually, although I use this in the winter, but I feel like it's a really nice texture for the summer months because it can feel quite cooling. I liked using this as part of my evening cleanse, so usually as my double cleanse on days when I wore makeup. Then from Antipodes, this is the Alleluia Lime and Patchouli Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Number one, I love the fact that this is glass packaging. So it feels really nice and really luxurious. It has a really natural scent. I don't really know if that makes a lot of sense, but it definitely smells like natural and earthy. It's the patchouli and the lime that you can really smell through this product. And typically I don't love highly fragranced skincare products. However, I really did like this one. I started off using this as a second cleanse only for the days when I wore makeup. So as part of my evening routine but eventually I started using this in place of a balm cleanser for example as it is a makeup remover I found that it was removing my makeup quite well quite effectively and efficiently so I ended up using this pretty much daily as part of my evening routine next up a couple of face masks I have to admit I'm not hugely in to my face masks I don't know why there was a moment when I was absolutely loving a face mask but now not as much however I did manage to finish up two that have probably been open for far too long in my bathroom cupboard. So the first one is from Beauty Pie. This is the Japan Fusion Bio Ceramide Moisture Mask. I've actually used this Japan Fusion range from Beauty Pie in the past and it's a range that I really do like. I like the full collection of this, at least the products that I've tried. I've tried about three or four products from the collection. This included, I did really enjoy as a mask. It wasn't too high maintenance. It's not clay or anything like that. It's just really nice and really hydrating on the skin. From Bliss, this is the Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. I loved this purely down to the fact it was pink and it had a really nice texture. I would go as far as to say it did have like a kind of marshmallow texture on the skin, but I really enjoyed using this. It would slightly dry up, but not as dry as like a clay mask typically tends to be so I really enjoyed using this product it was probably my go-to this one in like the t-zone and then the japan fusion one in all other areas loads of lip balms I don't know how I ended up using this many lip balms I feel like sometimes I'm quite lazy with my lip balm so I'm surprised that I have six here to show you first up from sun balm this is their cocoa balm in pina colada this was really nice and actually I feel like I didn't really rate this highly when I first got it I was a bit like oh it's just fine nothing crazy nothing too special however then I started to use it because I had run out and I ended up opening this one I used it and then my boyfriend used it and my boyfriend actually commented that this was a really good one he said that it didn't feel like it left his lips like his lips felt hydrated throughout the day and I thought that was very interesting because honestly my boyfriend is not one to comment on like beauty products and whether he enjoys or doesn't enjoy enjoy a product actually he will let me know if he doesn't enjoy a product but otherwise he's quite impartial so I was very impressed with the fact that this lip balm was good enough to impress him and I personally really liked it as well from the brand authored this is their vegan lip balm I didn't love this I don't like this packaging honestly bad packaging really puts me off a product I have to be honest it's just because it makes the whole experience of using that product not such a nice one and then it really puts me off particular products and this type of packaging which is like this metal sort of like squeezy packaging always puts me off i've tried quite a few different products in this sort of packaging and I always end up disliking them. However, for a lip balm, this was fine, but the issue with this is that it starts breaking as you start getting towards the end of the tube and that's what I found with this. It was nice. This smells like a Cherry Bakewell tart, which I absolutely loved. However, packaging really threw me off. From Dr. Lip, this is the original nipple balm. I've been using this as a lip balm for the longest time. Admittedly, I've not used it for 
quite some time now actually but I have a feeling in the winter months I will get back into it but I did use up one of these I had it open so used it up throughout the winter and it's just one of my favorites it's always been one of my favorites it's very thick on the lips so one that I only use at night time almost like an overnight mask treatment it's a really good one if you feel like your lips are quite chapped and dehydrated this always does the job for me from Carmex this is a Carmex naturally intensely hydrating lip balm so again just a little lip balm in a bullet a nice one I really do like Carmex in terms of like all the lip balm products I think they do them excellent and this one was great as well from Beauty Pie this was their super healthy skin nourishing lip balm with SPF 30 so I actually finished this one up really recently I like the fact that this one is essentially like a lipstick so you can have this in your bag and apply it like you would a lipstick it's also got SPF 30 in there which is a fantastic for the summer. My most recent lip balm empty is from Kiehl's. This is the Kiehl's lip balm number one. I don't love this. I just feel like, to me, this doesn't feel as luxurious as I would expect a Kiehl's product to feel. It kind of just feels like Vaseline in a different tube. So I don't like love using this I don't know I don't know if I'm just being a little bit snobby with it but the fact that it's like the number one lip balm and all this sort of like branding and stuff and then essentially anytime I put it on I'm like okay this just feels like glorified Vaseline so uh, don't think I'd repurchase I have so many moisturizers lined up in front of me so let's move on to moisturizers next this is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor moisturizer with SPF 30 essentially this has a refill so this is empty I can keep this this and then just buy the refill love this I used this up a hundred percent in my last empties video because I remember it was an empties and then I had a new one which was this one and then I finished that up immediately after loved this it smells like apricots which I absolutely adore it was just such a nice scent it's got SPF in there which is fantastic it's not too oily on the skin or greasy on the skin I absolutely loved this definitely one I would use again definitely one I will repurchase from Tata Harper this is the fortifying moisturizer for sensitized skin. I wouldn't say I have particularly sensitive skin. I would say my skin is actually quite normal, but of course I was going to try this from Tata Harper anyway. Loved it. Such a nice product. It's a pump, which is great, but as you can see, there are like little bits over the glass here that kind of haven't completely come out, which is a shame because I always feel like it feels like wasted product and particularly for a brand like Tata Harper it's expensive wasted product but really enjoyed I haven't tried many products from Tata Harper but the products that I have tried I have loved I have a couple of Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Creams so this one is the standard like classic version and then this is the version with SPF 30 in there I feel like in future I would probably pick up the SPF 30 as opposed to just the normal one purely because added SPF in there is always good. I do love Elemis as a brand. I think it's very luxurious. I think it's just a really beautiful brand to use. The whole experience of Elemis I think is really luxurious from the purchase, the packaging and the product itself. I will say though that Elemis products have a very particular scent and I feel like it's an old money scent and I noticed this a lot with the Elemis products particularly with the pro collagen marine cream it's not something that puts me off the product at all I mean I have at least another two ready and waiting to be opened up and used up but it's just something to mention from Kiehl's this is a mini ultra facial cream this I really enjoyed like more than I thought I would to be honest with you I've probably used this like in the past and not thought much of it but this time around when I used it I used it as like my day cream and I really did like using this I would definitely use again from first aid beauty this is just so battered and tattered but I love this both my boyfriend and me really enjoy this I like having a moisturizer that both of us can use actually because sometimes I have my nice fancy moisturizers like my Elemis moisturizer that I don't really want him to use but something like this I think is good for all skin types for literally anybody in the family could use a product like this so this is the ultra repair cream intense hydration for dry parched skin so I used the Lancome Genifique advanced night moisturizer which I really enjoyed I like Lancome as a brand I think it's a very nice brand again it definitely has like 
old money vibes to it, but I really did like this product. And then from Cordially, this is the Vino Perfect Dark Spot Correcting Glycolic Night Cream. I really enjoyed using this as well. I like the whole glycolic range from Cordially. I think it's fantastic. Their Vino Perfect products are so good, particularly if you are suffering with any sort of breakout or if your skin is just not behaving too well. I always go towards a Cordially Vino Perfect to save the day. One Rogue Eye Cream from Cordially. This is the Vinegetic C Plus Brightening Eye Cream. I've managed to incorporate eye cream as part of my routine, both morning and nighttime. However, I can't say that I notice a huge difference from using eye cream. I don't know if it's because I'm not necessarily focusing on a before and after, and I feel like an eye cream is a product that takes a long while for you to see any sort of change, I guess. So I really can't tell whether I benefit from the use of an eye cream, if I'm being completely honest with you, but it's part of my routine. This one from Cordially was very nice to use, but like I said, I just don't know if I notice a difference. And actually, I have one more. This is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Eye and Lash Concentrate. I thought that this looked like a serum, which is why it slipped my mind, but this is the applicator. So it's got this metal nib applicator, which really made me love using this product because it feels really brightening and really like energizing because essentially you're placing this cool metal tip on your eyes, like on and around your eye area, and it just feels like it wakes me up. So I loved using this as part of my morning routine, and I really didn't think I would because, like I said, I feel like eye creams, I'm just unsure if it does anything for me personally, but this, where it had the metal applicator, I definitely felt like that did a good job of like waking up and brightening under the eyes, and this is really what got me into using an eye cream as part of my daily skincare routine. My most recent finished serum is from Aveeno. This is their Calm and Restore Triple Oat Serum. Loved using this. You'll notice a few different Aveeno products in different like skincare categories. It's a brand I'm really, really enjoying using. I think it's great regardless of what kind of skin type you have. So if you're more sensitive, if you've got particularly dry skin, Aveeno has become my go-to. From Bare Minerals, this is their Ageless 10% Phytoretinol Night concentrate. So this is a plant-based retinol alternative, basically. Essentially, this phytoretinol is meant to have the same properties as like the active retinol, so like vitamin A. And I really enjoyed using this as part of my evening routine. If you're a little bit new to retinol and you're a little bit scared and cautious about going straight in with the acids and how your skin will react, then I feel like going for something like this, which is plant-based and a bit more natural, is a good first step into the world of of retinols. From L'Oreal, this is the Midnight Serum. I really, really like L'Oreal serums. I think they're good value for money, and I've particularly liked these sort of serums. I used their Revitalift Hyaluronic one in the past, which I really enjoyed, and then I used this one as part of my evening routine, and again, thoroughly enjoyed. From Honest Beauty, this is their Vitamin C Radiance Serum. I didn't love using this and honestly I don't love using vitamin C but I was speaking to a friend of mine and she actually said that vitamin C is one of her favorite products and then I said I'm not a big fan of it so she asked me which products I use and she basically said that they're sticky and I completely agree with that this product in particular whenever I applied it it just felt sticky and tacky on the skin and I didn't like that sensation so she did pass on a few recommendations of non sticky vitamin C's which I will hopefully get around to trying soon and report back to you. In terms of this particular vitamin C from Honest Beauty, it wasn't for me. The firm favourite, Cordelie's Vino Perfect Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting. This is so good if you have any sort of blemishes or if your skin is just not having a good time, use this. You can use it daytime, nighttime or just in your nighttime routine for example. It's just such a fantastic product. Whenever I feel like my skin is freaking out or even around my cycle when I know that I am more likely to start breaking out, I start using this and it just tames everything. It is a magic product. On to hair care next and I'll start off with dry shampoo because what hair care routine is complete without some dry shampoo? I try to only wash my hair twice a week which means I do have days of 
particularly greasy hair and when that's the case it's dry shampoo to the rescue. So this is the Batiste Original Dry Shampoo. I actually think this is their old packaging because they have switched up their packaging to different packaging now basically. This was also a Christmas exclusive because it's got a little red bow in there but it's really good. Probably my favourite inexpensive dry shampoo goes to Batiste. With that said, I also tried the Colab dry shampoo. This is the original fragrance, which again, I also liked. I mean, it's dry shampoo. It does the job. And then from Amica, this is the Perk Up dry shampoo. This is obviously just a mini. But this is a great size to have in like a bag or something. So if ever I needed a little Perk Up, like the name would suggest, this was perfectly reachable. I only have a couple of shampoos and conditioners because as I said I only wash my hair like twice weekly so I don't get through shampoo and conditioner that quickly but one that I did use up was this duo from Charles Worthington this is the Shine Plex Mirror Shine shampoo and conditioner I can't remember any particular positives or negatives about this so I assume it was fine. Usually if I don't like something it ingrains in my mind so I assume that these were fine to use. I have to say I don't have particular concerns when it comes to my hair. I have naturally straight hair, my hair isn't dyed but nonetheless this was about shine and I usually do get compliments about particularly shiny hair so these were good. And then from Garnier this is the Ultimate Blends Nourish hair food banana and coconut shampoo and conditioner I love this range from Garnier it's their ultimate blends collection they do so many different shampoos and conditioners and like hair care skincare everything in their ultimate blends range which I really like this was the banana and coconut which I enjoyed using vegan formula nice enough. Also from the Garnier Ultimate Blends range, this is the Plumping Hair Food Watermelon and Pomegranate 3 in 1 hair mask for fine hair. I would say my hair is quite fine, although I have a lot of it, but each individual strand is actually quite fine. This was, this is my favourite scent from Garnier. Oh, it just screams summer. It smells so good. I really, really love a watermelon scented product, particularly in the summer months. And I used this up fairly recently. It's a good one. It's such a good size as well. This lasted so long. And I don't know if you usually finish up the conditioner before you finish the shampoo. I always do this. So usually what I do is replace that with a hair mask instead. So at one point I was using my standard classic shampoo and then you using this hair mask as a conditioner rather than a mask basically. It's great because you can really use a hair mask in so many different ways. A pre-treatment, a post-conditioning treatment or as a replacement for conditioner. From the brand Carly Min, this is their Rescue Oil Active Hair and Scalp Remedy. This was just fine because I've used like a mini bottle of this in the past, which I did enjoy, but this large size, as my hair started to get longer as well, this just wasn't enough. And it has a pipette, which you use to apply the product. And I just don't think it releases enough product for hair as long as mine. If I were to use the pipette, I would genuinely probably be sitting there doing this for like 10 minutes. So what I would typically do is just unscrew the top and pour it out into my hand and then slather it all over my hair. It's not necessarily something I would repurchase. I don't necessarily think it made a huge difference to my hair or my hair routine. It was just like an additional step that to be honest with you, I found to be a little bit annoying. From the brand Naughty, this is their first aid conditioning and detangling spray. I would typically use this on towel dried hair and give it a bit of a brush. I am so bad at brushing my hair. I very rarely brush my hair, to be completely honest with you. So something like this that is detangling is great, particularly at the points where my hair is at now, where it is so long and definitely in need of detangling more often than I would like to admit. This was a very nice product to use. It had a very nice scent and I enjoyed adding it as part of my hair care routine on hair wash days. Let's continue on the bathing front. So from Dr. Hauschka, I have the More Lavender Calming Balm Essence. This was nice, but I just don't love like a bath essence. I think it's a bit of a boring product. I much prefer something that's going to give me 
real big bubbles. I love a bubble bath. So like this was fine. I would probably use it again if I had it, but I wouldn't be rushing out to repurchase this. Then from Evolve, this is their Silent Night Bathing Salts. I have mentioned these bathing salts so many times in my empties because we love them in my household. The scent is exceptional. It just really fills the room. It feels so luxurious. It gives off like a spa-like scent, which I really like. Love the packaging of this. We've been using these bath salts for years. They're very good. From Pacifica, this is their Lavender Moon Body Wash Relaxing Plant Powered Aromatherapy. This was nice. I always like a pump for a body wash. I just think it's quite nice to have a pump and like low faff as well for bath times. This was nice. From Elemis, this is the Warm Tonka and Vanilla Bath and Shower Milk. I really liked this actually and I didn't expect to like it as much as I did because again, it's quite expensive and I never really know if it's worth spending that much but I adored this product. It really lathered so beautifully on the skin and it felt just so hydrating whenever I used this. So one I would highly recommend. From L'Occitane, this is the Relaxing Shower Gel and this is actually from a fairly new launch collection from L'Occitane. This is their lavender and CBD collection, which is a really nice collection in general. And this product also enjoyed using. From Dr. Hauschka, this is the shower cream, gentle nourishing shower cream with lemon and lemon grass. I loved the scent of this. I actually really enjoyed using this in like a morning shower and I'm not a morning shower kind of person. I'm definitely more of like an evening bath time kind of girl. So whenever I was having a morning shower, I really love something that smells uplifting and vibrant and I feel like this is exactly that. One thing I didn't love about this though is the pack Packaging. It just has like quite a small hole here, which you sort of twist to open. And I found that that just didn't let out enough product. So I ended up just opening it like this. And then it's kind of more of like a, I don't know, like a moisturizer tub almost, as opposed to a bath body wash kind of packaging. So packaging wise, not my favorite, but I did really love the product. From Aveeno, this is their Skin Relief Moisturizing Body Wash, which soothes very dry skin. Really loved using this. I wasn't really sure if this was gonna feel a little bit too rich and a bit too much like a moisturizer as opposed to a body wash. However, I didn't find that was the case at all with this. It was just really pleasant to use. From Elemental Herbology, this is their Sweet Orange and Rosemary Exfoliating Body Wash. This is another product that has an incredible scent. Another one that I would use a lot in a morning shower thanks to the brightening and refreshing scent that this has. Very zesty. Then from Soap and Glory, this is their Simply the Boost Revitalizing Body Wash. I didn't like this and I can't believe I'm saying that about a Soap and Glory bath product because I love all of their shower creams, all of their body washes, bubble baths. I'm a big fan of like Soap and Glory bath products basically. However, this I just didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy the the texture. This is just so thick and I found it almost too thick to even come out of the packaging, which annoying. So then I would end up removing the lid. And then when I was removing the lid, I would have to squeeze really hard. I don't know if you can tell, but literally from squeezing, this bottle has lost so much of its shape. And that just really put me off the product. It just felt a little bit too thick. It wasn't really for me. It's not my kind of thing. And don't get me wrong. I absolutely love most Soap and Glory products, but this one wasn't quite right for me. I much prefer their classic Clean On Me shower gel, which is nice runny liquidy perfect sort of shower and body wash whereas this was just it was just a bit too thick next up a refill from L'Occitane this is a refill for the delicious almond liquid soap hands and body this has 500 ml in here so we had the original bottle well we still have the original bottle finished through that and then put in the refill I love the almond collection from L'Occitane I think it's so nice it's nourishing the scent is amazing and this was no exception exception. Some body moisturizers next. I actually really surprisingly have three to go through. I say this all the time but I am so bad at moisturizing my body. I'm just really lazy when it comes to moisturizing. So firstly from Mio Fit Skin for Life. This is their Future Proof Active Body Butter. This was nice. It felt quite 
thick, like quite a thick moisturiser, but I quite liked that. I genuinely smell this and I feel like I'm revitalised, energised, relifted, ready for the day. First product I've ever used from this brand, but I really liked it. Another feature from Aveeno, this is the Skin Relief Moisturising Lotion. Helps heal very dry skin. So this is actually the duo for the body wash that I showed you previously, the Aveeno body wash as well. So I used both of these together and they were such a great duo. If you do typically suffer from particularly dry skin, I would highly recommend. This was great for the really like cold winter months, just perfect. And then from CeraVe, this is the moisturizing lotion for dry to very dry skin, fragrance free. I never really know with these sort of CeraVe products if they are formulated for your body or for your face, but I ended up using this as body cream rather than face cream, just because this sort of packaging to me is a bit more suited for like my body care as opposed to my skincare. However, my boyfriend would literally pump this onto his body and then also use it as face cream as well. I feel like guys just don't really care that much, or at least my boyfriend doesn't care that much. So this was nice to use. We have another one on the go at the moment it's just a very easy product it's an affordable brand as well so it's a really really good one just low faff not too much going on so nice and easy random rogue product next this is from Essie and this is their good as gone clarifying nail polish remover I don't necessarily have anything good or bad to say about this. It was a nail polish remover, it did the job. Finally, I have some makeup to go through. I find that I don't go through makeup too quickly, so there's never huge amounts of empty makeup products to share with you. However, I do still have a few mascaras and bits and bobs to share with you, so I thought I would include them in this video anyway. Starting with mascaras, which I always do have quite a few, First up, the favourite. I feel like I don't even need to say much about this. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. My favourite mascara, however, I have found a very good alternative, which I am loving. However, it's more expensive than this one, but I have kind of been taken away from my favourite Lash Paradise waterproof, although I'm sure it won't be for long, but for now I am experimenting with a different one. But anyway, love this from L'Oreal, so good, literally the favourite. I've done so many videos on it, I love it. Next up from L'Oreal as well, this is the Air Volume 30 Hour Mega Black Mascara. I didn't like this. I have a feeling I've used this before, like the original of this before, so actually I don't think this is like finished or like bad or anything, but I just didn't enjoy using it. I found that this transferred so much and typically I only use a standard mascara as like an overlayer over waterproof mascara if I want something a bit more vibrant and on my lower lashes. So if this transfers on my lower lashes, for example, it's just not a great one to use. I did give this an additional try as part of like a no makeup makeup kind of look. Just didn't like the effect, so got rid of it. It's not for me. Next up from Urban Decay, this is the Lash Freak Mascara. I actually really liked the results of this mascara. However, it's just like, it comes out with so much excess product that it became pretty much unusable. Anytime I would take this out to use, I would have to wipe clean the spoolie or like the applicator of this. It's because it's only really got bristles on one side and the other side is essentially flat. So it just brings out so much product. I, for that reason, I was really put off it, to be honest. I really liked it, though. I really liked the results it gave me, and I used it for a very long time. It was just that then it was just getting too messy and too much of a faff to use, so I ended up putting it into my empties, which is a real shame, because the product, I felt like, was actually really good. It's just the whole, like, packaging and design awful. From Vive, this is the Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer. I loved this. I loved mixing this in with my foundation foundation or just using it on its own on no makeup days if I wanted more of like a glowy complexion or even just applying onto high points of the face as some highlights basically. This was so beautiful, really natural looking and I just loved using this. From L'Oreal, this is the True Match Eye Cream Inner Concealer. This isn't necessarily my favourite type of product. I find anything with this sort of applicator to get really messy as you can probably see. It's not something that I think was particularly eye-catching or did a particularly good job I suppose like 
it was just fine, like, it was fine. One that I was so sad to see come to the end was this from Bare Minerals. This is the Strength and Length Serum Infused Brow Gel in the shade coffee i love this i really really love this product and to be honest with you there is definitely still product in there but it was just way past its like use by date basically so i very sadly and very reluctantly threw it into my empties after filming my makeup declutter earlier on in the year and i was really sad to see this go because i do really love it i haven't yet replaced it because if you saw that video, I have loads of other brow products to use up until then, but I love this. And if you are looking for a new tinted brow gel, I would highly recommend this one from Bare Minerals. And finally, my last empties is from Fenty Skin. This is the Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. Loved this product. It's completely battered. It's broken. I've used it up to the very end, like nothing comes out in the applicator anymore, but I I loved this. Anytime I used it, I would also get asked like, oh, what are you using on your lips? So always made me feel really good. I kept this in my handbag. That's essentially where it lived. And it was great as like a top up throughout the day. I really liked using this. It really got me back into using lip oils. Just having one in your bag at all times, I feel like it's really nice because when you're reapplying throughout the day, it just looks it just looks nice and this in particular smelt good looked good and also felt good so very happy with this and i would definitely repurchase i know it was a long one but a big thank you for watching me go through my empties of the past six months if you're not subscribed to my channel yet by the way then please do subscribe so that you stay up to date with my upcoming uploads a very big thank you for watching today's video i hope you did enjoy it and i will see you all soon bye